yeah, he's got the air conditioning on now. So I just wanted to clarify something uh, to help you understand something here. So we're saying we're trying to get it uh, when the uh, valves are lifted halfway to be a straight line right here. And what does that really mean? And then when it's uh, released, it's up here. And when it's depressed, it's down here. And then if we don't shave this stuff off, it's going to do something else. Well, these valve stems are higher right now. So with the higher valve stems, they're right. Okay. But when we put that smaller cam in here, all of a sudden they get skewed. And what happens is they're not straight across anymore. Instead, straight across, let me find a line tool here somewhere. It's taking forever. Color size. Instead, what happens is this right here, this line that's up in the air, this may be the mid. And then the release is here, way up in the air. Well, you're like, so what does that matter? See this arc of the circle right here? Your your roller wheel, that's great. Hold on, I need a shape. Your little roller wheel, okay, it's going to follow this arc. Okay, so here the arc is pretty minimal. So when we talk about the roller rolling back and forth across the valve stem, it's minimal. But if we don't change anything, look, the arc starts going way in at the top up here. Okay, so now we have the wheel rolling to the rear, up and down to the rear, to the front, to the rear, to the front. That's why we got to get this right. We've got to get it on the front of this arc. And uh, this is why with the 550 lip, you need the lash caps, I believe, because you get into more of the back part of this arc at the top and bottom of the extreme lift. When the valves are completely released, they're up here using this part of the arc. When the valves are completely depressed, they're using this part of the arc, so the valve's trying to roll off, and you need lash caps for it to roll on top of to prevent damage to the valve stem. But when we go to these smaller cam shafts, it stays more in the center, and it's arbitrary whether you re really need to have a lash cap at that point, as long as you can constrain the roller to the center of the uh, valve stem. So at that point, the lash caps just become a luxury item and uh, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this nice drawing here helps clear that up. And then one other issue I wanted to point out was on these pistons, okay, uh, it says that uh, on the long rod, you can take the stock piston and turn it flat and make it into a high compression kit, uh, camp, uh, piston. I have been told this by numerous people. However, I want to point out that the pin is offset in these. The pin is not offset in these, okay? These are not directional, these are directional because they're normally on a, sh on a short rod, okay? And being it's a short rod with a lower rod ratio, they have to have the pin offset uh, for certain reasons. And so when you move them, um, the stock piston, turn it and put it up here in this long rod, uh, I don't know if that works. I don't know if that's good or bad because these are directional pistons that have been placed in a non-directional environment, okay? so be advised.